Hello everyone. I'm Ray. And I'm Paul. And I'm Jackie. And we are the Alcanauts. And today we are going to be talking the Matrix because on December 22nd in the US we are releasing the fourth installment of the Matrix series, Matrix Resurrections. But before we do that, we're going to talk about the tale of the tape. Mr. Smith, let us know what we're drinking today. Well, this week, from Amsterdam Brewing, we're drinking Neon Haze. It's a hazy IPA at 5.7%. All right, as always, we can see the numbers, the zeros and ones. So we need to stick our hands into the can. Nope, doesn't work that way. So we're just gonna crack these babies open because as always, Neo's thirsty. Neo is thirsty. Let's crack them open, babies. Yeah, I can smell the hops from all the way over here. Yeah, it's it's got some hops. It's got some hops. So you could say it's hopping. It's, it's hopping all right. Let's have our initial taste on this guy right here and let's find out what we got in our neon haze. Cheers, cheers. and cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's actually very light and refreshing. I like it. It's, well, there, there's the hops. Um, it's very smooth going down. You don't feel any bite on the tongue. Now, the only caveat we have to say is this has not been refrigerated very long. And I'm not gonna say whose fault it is, but honestly, it's not bad considering the temperature and considering the amount of hops that I can smell. I dislike this. Um, it is very bitter. Um, I can taste the citrus that, that is in there. I am not a fan of it. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that if it was refrigerated, I probably would like it a little bit better. So actually, um, I'm very surprised, um, that actually at this temperature, it poured quite well. It is, it is hazy, but it's not a, it doesn't look unfiltered. There's no chunks, which is good. Um, I really like the flavor. I enjoy it. Um, as y'all know, I like a hoppy beer. Um, it does smack you in the face of, you know, it's very hot forward, um, but it's very pleasant and smooth, like Paul said. That's our initial opinion on that. And as we mentioned at the top of the show, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about The Matrix. Start us off, Ray, give us a little synopsis of the movie. So The Matrix is a 1999 science fiction action film written and directed by the Wachowskis. Uh, it stars Keanu Reeves, uh, Lars Fishburne, uh, Carrie Ann Moss and uh, Hugo Weaving. And it depicts a dystopian future uh, in which humanity is unknowingly trapped inside a simulated reality, uh, which intelligent machines have uh, created to distract humans while using their bodies as energy sources. It's kind of weird. It's, it's kind of, yeah. Yeah. yeah Seems innovative to me. Um. We'll have to revisit that, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> and Jackie, you got a little bit of background on uh, The Matrix itself, its formation and origins. Yeah, so uh, originally it was written as a comic book, and then uh, the Wachowskis did um, some writing for Marvel Comics as well. Um, and then they began writing the script uh, for the movie in 1992. It took 14 drafts and several years to get the uh, final script finished. Once that was finished and they brought it to a lot of the studios, it was declined because they thought it was too complicated for people to actually follow and understand. It is complex, but I think people like it for that. I remember watching The Matrix. I was in New Orleans and uh, there was nobody there. And at the end of the movie, all we wanted to do was run on the walls. It was just <laughs> so fun and amazing. But, uh, we're going to talk more about uh, the movie, uh, and we're going to actually talk a little bit about the trailer for the new movie coming out, Resurrections. Uh, but let's have a couple more sips. Let's see if our opinions have changed on this. Cheers. 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 
still extremely hop forward. You know, it's it's right there, front of the mouth. Um, it's it's yeah, there's some bitterness. I'm not sure what the IBUs are on this one, but uh, yeah, I enjoy it. It's it's got I find it's got a really smooth citrus uh, flavor. Um, I am finding it quite carbonated. Um, it's it's hit me. The gas yeah. is there, um, but I'm still enjoying it. I gotta disagree. I don't find it very carbonated at all. Um, there's not a lot of bite in this. I am tasting the hops, but it's it's not overwhelming. But nonetheless, um, I'm I'm finding that I'm handling it okay, and it's not so bad. Jackie. All right, um, I'm gonna disagree with your disagreement because I also think that it is carbonated a bit. Um, yeah, it's a little bit too carbonated for my taste, but the head went down really quickly, so that's kind of cool. Um, I still don't really prefer this. It's not my cup of tea. But Would you say it's uh, not your circus? It's not your monkey? <laughs> Wait, guys, no. that was a different show. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, not my matrix, not my code. But yeah, so yeah, I'm not a fan. Getting back to our matrix uh, episode, you, you talk about the iconic characters in this movie. You have Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus. You have Carrie Ann Moss as Trinity, and you have Keanu Reeves as a starring role of Neo. Now, could you imagine anyone else playing these roles? No. no. Not at all. Here's a funny thing. When it comes to the part of Trinity, Janet Jackson was actually offered the part first. She didn't take it because uh, she had some scheduling issues. Yeah. And uh, actually, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith um, actually auditioned for the role of Trinity. Oh, wow. She's pretty fierce. I could kind of see it. I can't say that like I think they did a good a ch good choice on what they picked, but I could kind of see Jada in there. Okay. Now, could you see Gary Oldman or Samuel L. Jackson as Morpheus? Because they were offered the roles of Morpheus before Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne's pretty iconic in that role. Um, he does really. But I could totally see either of those two other guys doing the role. I, I really could. Yeah. Um, they, they would both sell it. <laughs> um, Gary Oldman is absolutely fantastic. He can honestly do any part, any role. Like he's, everything well, he, I've seen, he's He done played Commissioner fantastic. Gordon in the Batman series. Exactly. Right? Great role. And great he, role. he is a good, he's a great actor. Yes. Um, but I honestly cannot see anyone else but Morpheus as Morpheus. Yes. Yeah. It, it's just, it is. It, it's just, his face is just synonymous with it. Now, getting to Neo, you would think that Keanu Reeves was the guy. But I can tell you, Will Smith was actually offered the part. He turned it down for a movie called Wild Wild Not one of his finer films. Regrets. <laughs> I have a few. The uh, the studio actually, Warner Brothers, wanted, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, either Nicolas Cage, uh, Brad Pitt, or Val Kilmer to play the role of Neo. Oh. Val Kilmer is the only one I could kind of see, but his career didn't pick off this, like, but maybe what, like his career could have picked up, like, crazy from the, that role. Well, what if I told you the Wachowski's pick for the role of Neo was Johnny Depp? Really? Yes. Really? Johnny Depp. That's what the Wachowskis wanted Johnny Depp to be their Neo. Like, I love me some Johnny Depp a lot. I just don't see it. Don't see it. Um, they have good taste, though. Like we said, Matrix... Resurrections is coming out in December, a couple weeks away. If you watch the whole series, it's just weird to see because you thought the series was ended. To see Carrie Moss and Keanu Reeves in a scene together in the Matrix again brings goosebumps on my arm. And they've said that it's going to have a lot of, uh, it's a lot of a love story. like. There's a lot of that as an undertone to it. But it's just it's just neat to see in the trailer how like Keanu's uh, character is taking blue pills, taking blue pills for whatever he's going through, and just decides one day to just dump all the blue pills down uh, until he is offered 
they're ready. Putting aside the status quo and finding out the main question. And the main question is always, what is The Matrix? So I'm jazzed to see what this movie is all about. I hope it's going to be awesome. All right. So I would like you to tell us the rules of the chug as if you were telling Neo as Mr. Smith all about how to chug his beer. So the rule of the chug, Neo, is to throw this back on the count of three, at which point I will end you. One, two, three. Oh. How do you even chug this? Oh. It's so carbonated. My idea was to put a whole bunch of my mouth and just like go down my throat. My throat said, no. I can't even chug that. Trinity, you can do this. We're meant to be together. Come I on, heard you're Trinity. not the one. <laughs> you are such a bitch, Trinity. <laughs> you are such a bitch. <laughs> I, hear I hope you choke things. on your beer, Trin. Flashbacks. Pony. Well, finish your beer, damn it. Someone's gonna need a bucket. Someone's gonna need a bucket. Cause she is gonna chuck it right back into the bucket. I really enjoyed this beer. Um, I find it very smooth. Um, I like the level of hops in this. There's a lot of flavor in there as well. The citrus is nice. Um, it's, it's orangey and peachy all at the same time. I'd buy it again. I'll stock it in my fridge. And uh, this one gets a 4.5 for me. I really enjoyed it. Um, I did not enjoy this. Um, very carbonated. I probably wouldn't drink this again. So 2.5. Wow. Well. I'm going to say... I didn't mind this beer. It actually went down pretty smooth. I had a gaff. I don't know what I was thinking, trying to shove as much beer into my mouth as possible without trying to actually swallow. But um, it was actually pretty smooth for a hopping beer. Um, I quite enjoyed it. I'm actually gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a four. Wow. Because it went down pretty smooth and I didn't mind it. We had a great time talking about the Matrix. Um, you know, I'm excited to watch uh, Matrix Resurrections. Um, I hope you guys are. Uh, let us know in the comments down below if you're looking forward to that movie as well. And with that being said, I am Paul. I'm Ray. And I'm Jackie. And we are the Alconauts. Cheers, Paul. Oh, I can't fly. <laughs> See ya.